Griddle me this, Batman. When it comes to griddle accessories, are you still using that small cheap spatula that you got in a kit and that kit was probably like less than 10 bucks at a big box store? Throw that crap out. What you need is this, the Blackstone XL spatula. Look at this thing. Look at the size of that thing. This thing is ginormous. Do you know the size of burger that you could flip with this thing? We're about to find out. Let's start the show. So I was walking down the barbecue aisle, which you could probably find me at all the time, and then this bad boy caught my eye. I was like, oh, big mama, what's going on? Literally was screaming out at me like, buy me, throw away your cheap spatula. And I'm like, you know what, you're right. It's time to step up my spatula game. Remember when SpongeBob got his new spatula? I mean, come on now. He was able to dish out so many burgers with it. So already when I opened it up out of the package, there were some key advantages over my cheap, cheap, cheap one. One is, listen to this. Hear that? That's solid steel, baby. I don't even know if it's steel, but this thing is like, I mean, it's still ringing if you can hear it. This is a hefty, heavy, extra large spatula. The first thing that what caught my attention is the actual grip. It feels great in the hands. Now, another key feature is the beveled edge on this thing. So in my other kit, I had a, a tiny little spatula and then another one that I was kind of like trying to chop apart in chorizo or whatever. You could pretty much use that bevel and then cut as you go just from the spatula. So no more needing a kit anymore. It has a huge surface area, so when you're actually smashing your burger, it will cover the whole burger if you're trying to make smash burgers. And with the weight on that, you don't need another spatula to help hold it down. This thing, now a key feature, and this is something you might not notice right away, but here on the end, that's a bottle opener. See, Blackstone understands. They know that grilling and drinking go hand in hand. Cheers. So you got your normal spatula, you basically got your scraper, you got your burger press, you got your chopper, and you got your aerodynamic spatula here. And then all of a sudden, boom, get that shit out of the way. Look at this bad boy. Ha, I'll do it all. The square footage is so big on this, my real estate friend actually tried renting it out in California for $1,500 a month. Now enough of that malarkey. Let's put this thing to the test and cook up some burgers. All right, we got some 80-20 beef right here. We are basically going to chop down the middle. We're basically gonna make up some four burgers. We're going to give them their burger shape. And I'm going to hit these with Jay's Brappin barbecue seasoning. This stuff is fire. If you haven't already, check out Jay's Brappin Barbecue. I will leave a link to his channel. Awesome dude, awesome friend. All right, let's get these bad boys on the grill. All right, let's lay these burgers down. It's that sizzle. Mmm, I can listen to that sound all day long. gonna help us give that nice flat perfectly sized patty when I would try to press these down with these cheap you know small spatulas I mean look at that if I press down right now, that's basically just gonna leave a mark in the center. Whereas when you basically press down on this bad boy right here, that's covering the full thing and not just the sides, so. And since this actually has weight behind it, it's so much easier to actually press these down. Beautiful. And the ease of basically coming in and flipping it, 
It's a beautiful thing. Heck, even cleaning up is a breeze too. Oh, man, my favorite part. Mm, mm, mm. So good. Well, that wraps it up for today's episode. And man, oh man, I am in love with this XL spatula. Honestly, for this to take the place of all my other griddle tools is worth its weight. Well, thanks for watching. If you can, leave a comment, hit the like button, subscribe, bell button. You know the drill. All right, Grill Sergeant out. Cheers, guys. in your less than $10 griddle accessory pack, throw that crap. Crap, jeez. Isn't that, woo, come on. What's that ring? Do you hear that? Wow. I'm gonna use this to tune my instruments. <laughs> Another airplane. Another airplane, come on over. I could take a stone and throw it. And it would probably hit the airport that's right there. And they're flying right here. Oh my gosh. Driving me insane. Driving me insane. <laughs>